Hey, Devante, how's the uh, transition to Miami coming along? How you doing? Um, the transition to Miami has been very well. Um, very pleased with everything. Just been a smooth transition. Uh, players on the team welcome me in, the coaches, and you know, I'm just ready to buy in, ready to win. How special is it for you to follow in your dad's footsteps and potentially create your own legacy here at Miami? Oh, very special. I feel like I was one of the things that you know helped me make that decision coming here, just knowing how uh, important the U is and the lineage that it holds. So. And then your brother coming here too. Just how cool is that playing with your little brother again? That's cool. I don't. I don't know a lot of people. You know, who did play with their little brother. So just having an opportunity for him to come in, we could. I could show him the way. You know, help him. You know, give him tips while I'm here. You know, that's gonna be awesome. How much? How much does it help him? You know, you being here. What kind of tips can you give him? What can he learn? Uh, we play the same position, so he's always out here watching. So when, when he's on the field, you know, the same mistakes or things we do, he's not going to make that mistake. So, like, he's going to be uh, an extra step ahead. Was it like getting a chance to well, you know, play in the secondary again with Daryl? You guys played together so well at Heritage. Uh, me and Daryl, we've been tight. Even, you know, we went off to separate schools after high school. I always stayed in contact. Just being able to play with him again brings back them high school memories at Heritage. Uh, also playing with James, too, so just having that opportunity. You know, out of here in the secondary back there, that's pretty good. Cool. What do you remember most about them for you? I, mean, I know you guys kept in touch, I'm sure, but like when you guys played together in high school and when you got here, was like anything about them like surprising, like that they improved or got bigger or anything like that? Uh, they definitely got bigger, put on, both of them put on so I feel like we all did put on weight. Just, you know, we all been grinding for the past two to three years, so mm -hmm. just continue to grow as players. How was the experience different here from UCF? Um, just, I would say just the culture, just, you know, every team, every school is going to want to win. Every school is going to want to work hard. I feel like what separates schools is going to be the little things, the detail, you know, being on time, the meetings, you know, coming in extra. Who's going to put in that extra work? Is it more strict here? Do you think the coaches you know, uh, have more expectations? I wouldn't say more strict. I feel like both, you know, both coaches, you know, expect a lot from their players. You know, they, they want to uh, the best for us. How would you evaluate how last season went for you individually compared to the year before? The things that you learned this past season? Uh, last season to the year before, I played through a couple injuries, so I wasn't 100%. It's just, you know, I feel like last season, just it was little things, plays, plays I made, but plays I didn't make came down to small details. It was just, you know, things I could have seen on the field before before the play actually happened. But just, you know, trying to build off of both of those two years, take what I learned from that, and, you know, finish, finish strong for last year. How's it working under Coach Jamila Dye? Just what are your impressions of Coach Goodrich's defense? Uh, Jamila Dye, he's been great for me. Just I needed that coach, you know, that's not gonna let you slack. He's gonna be on you every practice. So just you know, embedding that competition, go out there, compete every day, uh, make the people around you better. You know, I also make the offense and receivers better too. Speaking of competition, you know, um, DJ Ivy and Tyreek Stevenson are both you know going to the NFL. Okay. So just what's that competition like for for their starting safety spot or starting cornerback spots? Uh, there's a lot of competition right now. You know, you know they got the younger guys. Uh, they've been very impressive. You know, just coming in and seeing them play cover receivers, you know, and make plays and also pick up the new defense. You know, impressive, impressive to me because I already know how it was for me as a freshman. So just, you know, all of us are we're making each other better right now, pushing each other. And how about which, uh, which receivers have impressed you going up against them? Um, Jacoby George, very impressive to me. Uh, I like his I like his game. Um, Wharton, 16, young, but talented, going to be a good receiver. 4-2, knows how to go up and, you know, get the ball. So I feel like we got some real playmakers on offense. How about the offense in general? Um, how, how difficult is it to defend? Um, the offense, I feel like they, they're putting it together well, gelling. Um, sometimes I feel like we go back and forth in practice. That's a good thing. You know, just, you know, when they make a play, um, defense being able to come back and respond, you know, that's big. Cause that, that happens in games too. So just being able to move on to the next play. The UCF connection, uh, you know, with Tim Harris, Matt Lee, does that help at all or what's that like? Uh, yeah, they on the other side of the ball, so they trying to tear tear our heads off in practice. But you know, off the field, you know, me and Matt, cool. You know, I was glad he was able to come and join me. And uh, I also coach Tim, and I know he's excited to be back home too. And what what do you think, fans? What would you say to fans? What can they expect in this cornerback this season? Out of this cornerback group, you're gonna get relentless corners. That's gonna be physical, and just I feel like we're gonna come to play. Uh, we're gonna make plays. Uh, we're going to leave everything out on the field. Devontae, in particular, Jacoby George, what's it like facing him? What does he do well? What makes it a challenge? You said he's been doing well. I feel like Jacoby is uh, deceptive with his routes and uh, releases. So like, he'll make, you know, he'll do the same release, but 
know, do a different route off of it. So we just uh, avoid against the Kobe. That'll be very technical. You know, have your eyes in the right place because he, he can be very smooth. It's been a long time. So a couple more questions. Here, it's here, it's defensive backs that have come out of high school have been playing at the University of Miami. What should we expect from you guys with all the success you've had on the high school level? Uh, we just expect us to, you know, bond together well since we already have that camaraderie. And just, you know, just being together and doing stuff off the field is going to help us on the field too. So, you know, when you have that connection off the field, you want to play for your brother on the field. So, I think that will make it you know, a lot easier.